everybody, it's Carlisha, and today I'm going to be making a video just teaching you what God's been teaching me. I just wanted to say in the beginning of this video, I'm not saying, I'm not teaching these things and talking about these things because I'm perfect in this area. This is something that God has really been teaching me. Um, like I was saying in my last video, like I'm, I'm trying to memorize scripture. And so this is the scripture that God has put on my heart for this week and he's just been teaching me and giving me revelation and renewing my mind and so i just wanted to share you share with you guys what i've been learning the scripture that i want to go over is first peter 3 3 and 4 that says don't let your beauty consist of outward things like elaborate hairstyles and wearing gold jewelry or fine clothes but rather what is inside the heart the imperishable quality of a gentle and quiet spirit which is of great worth in god's sight so i just wanted to go over this verse because the lord has been teaching me this and so this scripture is not saying that you know we can't wear makeup we can't wear you know nice clothes and wear jewelry and wear you know have our hair really nice and stuff like that that's not what the script this verse is saying this is saying that there can be times where you can be so focused on your outward appearance where you neglect your inward self. This verse is saying to not let your beauty consist of your outward appearance. And that's something that I feel like I have definitely, you know, I let my beauty consist of my outward appearance instead of being focused on what's on the inside. And that's supposed to be a gentle and a quiet spirit. You know, beauty is not you know, having everything popping on the outside, but then I'm going around yelling at people and, 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 and cussing people out and not being gentle and just, you know what I'm saying, gossiping and just like not loving people and just being like ugly on the inside. Like that's not what beautiful is. That's not what beauty is. It's beauty is representing the Lord. It's, 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 it's being slow to speak, quick to listen and slow to get angry beauty is loving people that's what god has been teaching me like even like this last this past week i went through like a situation where i usually would have gotten mad about it um you know but he was just putting the scripture in my heart okay then i noticed that like i wasn't as angry about the situations i usually would be i was like wow like thank you lord and so i sat there and i listened and to the person and then when i wanted to speak I didn't cut them off and I um and I said everything that I had to say with gentleness and I wasn't you know yelling and being rude and being short with them you know what I'm saying having like an attitude you know what I'm saying like having an attitude is not cute having your nails popping having your makeup and your hair popping your outfit popping but then having an attitude having an attitude of being prideful and, and thinking that you look better than other people like that's not beauty and so we can't go around you know, saying that we are Christians and, and, and being like, you know, I love Jesus, you know what I'm saying? But then we're going around cussing people out, being rude to people. Like, that's not representing Christ. That's why, that's why there's people who feel like, you know, I don't want to be a Christian because Christians are just, they're just hypocrites. And there's people who feel like that, you know, and so if we represent him, that's going to motivate more people to follow him so going back to what i said i was i sat down and i listened to them and i and then i and i was slow to speak i was quick to listen and slow to get angry and the lord was teaching me like that's what beauty is you know it's not being so focused on my outward appearance and to be honest like our inward self is so much more important to the lord than what we look look like on the outside because to be honest like to be honest, to the Lord, we all look beautiful. If even like without the makeup, without the popping outfit, without all that, like He already sees us is is very good. That's what it says. He created us. He says we're very good, and so we don't even need all that stuff that we be putting on. And so, and so that's something that you know is just it's extra stuff. But it's but what's on the inside? That's what's important. What's on the inside? That's what's eternal. That's what makes a difference for the kingdom of God. You know what I'm saying? Like what we're wearing that wearing this day and that day. Like that's that that's fleeting. The scripture that says Proverbs thirty one thirty, charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. And so that's what's important to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Like our beauty is fleeting. You know what I'm saying? But um, 
how we love people and, and how we do the things that the Lord calls us to do, that is what's going to make a difference for the kingdom of God. I'm not saying that you can't look pretty and look beautiful. I'm just saying you cannot, we can't be more focused on our outward appearance than we are our inward appearance. And this is something that the Lord is continuously growing me in. I am not perfect in this area at all. And so I'm just teaching you what God has been teaching me. It said that a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. And in Proverbs 22 and 4, it says humility is the fear of the Lord. Okay? And so this is what's beautiful to him. Humility. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, it's, oh, Lord, it's not beautiful to walk around and just be walking in pride and thinking that you are better than other people and thinking that, that oh, you know, I'm popping. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. I'm better than this person because my weave is 22 inches long and it go like this and it flow like this. Like, who cares? Okay? Like, listen, we have to walk in humility. Okay? And this is what the Lord was teaching me. Okay? There was like a, there was like times where I would have my outfit was popping and I was like wanting everybody to look at me, you know, look at me. I look so good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I was really feeling like I looked like, I was like, I was like the best looking person there, like when my outfit was popping. I was like, look at me, look at me, you know what I'm saying? But God was like, you're not the only person that looks good in this room. He had to teach me that. And I was like, oh, you true, you right. Like, them people over here look cute too. Oh, look at y'all, y'all's cute too. And you have to realize, like, you're not, the only, you're not the only cute person in the room. Like, we are all fearfully and wonderfully made. It's like, it's not cute to be walking around, like, doing that. And, like, we can't, we have to represent the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Like... We cannot represent him and, and, and be rude to people at the same time. We can't be representing him and have an attitude with people. We can't represent him and then try to, like, repay evil for evil. Like, we can't do that. It's not going to work. You know what I'm saying? That's why people, like I said, that's why people that are saying, so it's people that are saying that, like, you know, they don't want to be a part of Christianity because people think that, you know, we, Christianity is about, you know, being a Christian and then that you're still out here doing this and doing that like we have to represent him and and show people that the holy spirit and and you know just christ like he really changes us you know what i'm saying not that you know we say we're a christian but we don't really show that we are transformed you know what i'm saying by the work of the holy spirit last thing that i want to say maybe it's the last thing unless the lord has something else for me to say i don't know but i just want to i just want to say this comparison right now there isn't a comparison between beauty and a gentle and a quiet spirit okay it says that you know um beauty is fleeting okay and and charm is deceptive okay but it says a gentle and a quiet spirit is imperishable it's an imperishable quality of a gentle and quiet spirit okay imperishable imperishable means enduring forever okay and and the, and beauty is fleeting it's deceptive charm is deceptive and so it's just like we have to to really be more focused on our inward self because that's what's going to make a difference in people's lives and make a difference for eternity you know what we what are what we were wearing that day that is not what's going to make a difference in anybody's life i want to encourage people to to focus more on your inward self not neglect your outward self but just the one that be the most important thing to you well i just wanted to say that and that's something that i am the lord is continuously growing me and i'm thankful that he is doing that because i want to grow even more in this area you know, um, I'm not perfect in this area at all. And um, because I used to really struggle with vanity, like back in 2017, before I got saved. And even, um, like even like before 2017, like I was really struggling with vanity. I was so focused on my outward self. And I was not loving others. I was being selfish. I was disrespecting my parents. I was rude. I was talking about people. I was gossiping. Um, I was walking in pride, and I was just, like, hurt, and I was broken, and I was just, like, thinking that my identity and my worth and my value had to do with my outward appearance, but I didn't know that my value was in the Lord, and I just, I did not know how beautiful he saw me already, and so I just, and I just wasn't even, like, I just wasn't even focused on, 
you know, my inward self. And I didn't know how important that was. I just, I just wanted to say that. And so just, just really focus on your inward self and focus on representing the Lord and being gentle with others. And the Bible says be clothed with gentleness, you know what I'm saying? And so that's something that um, I pray you guys can grow in and that I can grow in. And so I just want you guys to meditate on this scripture. First Peter 3, 3 and 4. Proverbs 31 and 30. And also there was one more that I forgot to mention. It's uh, First Samuel 16, 7. It says, um, people look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. You know, like people can look at what you look like on the outside, but God knows like your heart. Just meditate on first Samuel sixteen seven, Proverbs thirty one thirty, first Peter three, three and four, and just like pray on this on these scriptures, um, about these scriptures and just like meditate on them for like a week or whatever. That's what I've been doing. The Lord has just been teaching me so much. And I'm just like grateful. So I thank you guys for watching my video. And I, I really, I pray that this helped you and this, and this helps you to really represent the Lord and just to, yeah, just to represent him more and just to love others and to not be so focused on vanity if you struggle with that, like um, I can definitely relate to. I would just ask you guys to like my video and to subscribe and turn on post notifications um, because I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure right now, but I might not be posting like weekly or, or anything like that because I am very busy, but, um, I'm just going to post whenever the Lord puts something on my heart. And so whatever the Lord is teaching me, so just turn on post notifications and share this to anybody, you know, that might be struggling in this area. And, um, yeah. Bye guys.